so today we are going to do a tour of my grooming van. Um, a couple of people have requested this, so I got around to doing it now. Okay, so then basically we just came up the stairs and the first thing that you come up to is this little table. This actually is an other grooming table. You can you could put an arm on here and you could set it up for another grooming station, but I'm the only one in here grooming, so basically it's just my extras. I have a couple extra cleaning supplies here. Um, just, you know, little extra things, some ear wipes. I keep extra business cards, dog treats, speaker. Sometimes I'll put my bag up here. Underneath here, is all my extras. I keep extra garbage bags, extra paper towels. That purple thing is actually an extra dryer. You always, always want to just have a backup because if something goes wrong during the day and your dryer goes down, you have an extra one to get the job done. These totes have a bunch of like oil and just extra parts for my generator and my generator is a thing that powers the whole entire van. This little draw here. <laughs> Just extra paper towels, I have forks for when I eat my lunch, some tools if something needs to be worked on, um, but yeah. And then over here I have a couple just extra leashes and leads for when I have the dogs on the table. Yeah. This little compartment, which is right next to the table and everything, this is where I keep my towels. So I have all my extra towels in here for when I need to dry the dogs. I keep a bunch of them. As you can see, you know, I have a bunch stocked up. I have a bunch that I clean every night. Okay. This is a bunch of my extra bows and little things I put on the dog's necks cute little bows and bandanas and stuff. I keep them all here so they're easy to grab. I have like holiday ones, I have just colorful, and this is just like small ones for small dogs. Okay, and then let's go back to this wall here. This is my like, I guess where I would keep my food and my lunch and everything. So this is my little mini fr refrigerator I have in here. Um, I just have a couple of cute little pictures from my clients. I love getting pictures of the client's dogs. Um, I hang them up all over the place. <laughs> um, and this, this is just a small little refrigerator where I keep my lunch and my drinks throughout the day. My little microwave, so if I bring something that I wanna cook, I put it in here, you know, and just cook it up. Up here is another compartment. I just keep a bunch of, um, pull it out. So this is spare smocks. I wear smocks over my clothing so I don't get dog hair all over me. And then I have a couple of muzzles just in case I need it if I have a mean dog or something. Um, and that's the same thing up here, just a muzzle and another smock. I really just keep them up there because I don't use them as much. So I just keep them up here. And then I have this little, let me get this out of the way, this little compartment that I just keep all of my extra books. If I'm doing a dog and I'm not sure on the cut and I want to refresh, I have books on the breeds. I have a little first aid kit in here and a couple band-aids just in case I need it. Um, peanut butter for the dogs. <laughs> if I need to keep a dog happy, I give them a little bit of peanut butter. Yeah, so then we will go, let's go here. So we were just over here. So we're gonna come over here. This door right here, I don't know if you can see. This door is actually my bathroom. So I have um, my toilet, a sink. This is my hose for my vacuum. I have a vacuum that's in the back of the truck. I'll show you the back of the truck. Um, but I just keep like extra, that's a little heater if I need it, and just some cleaning supplies in here that can't fit in my cleaning supply drawer that I have. 
and I will keep, if I have, I don't always use this bathroom, I have it just in case, but I kind of just keep it as a storage closet also, so I'll take like a big thing of paper towels like this that I'm not using right at the moment, and I'll just store them in there for the meantime. This is a little dog bed I have for when I do multiple dogs. And that's what it usually looks like. It's just a spare room. Moving on. So this is the tub area. I have a shower curtain because when the dogs shake, um, I get soaked, <laughs> so I kind of sometimes will just pull it over. But this is the tub area. So this little compartment actually opens up to the back of the truck. I don't know if it's gonna open right now. It gets like jammed. So it opens to the back of the truck as a hamper, but I don't really use it. So this is the tub. This is just some of my shampoos that I have. Um, some soap, and I keep a couple extra like face shampoos and stuff up there. But yeah, this is basically where I wash every dog before I give them their haircut. That's a little setup there. This wall is, this is how I start my generator, and this is the hours that I have on it. This is a little like control panel will show me how much water level I have, how much um, gas I have, like propane. It'll show me my gray water tank, my fresh water tank. This turns on and off my um, water pump. Um, this is my propane that heats my water. So in the heat in the winter, I use this to heat all my water before I use it. Um, that's just a switch to turn it on. This is my dryer. So I have a force air dryer, and it's actually it attaches to the back of the truck. So this is where it's at, and I just hanged up on this hook. And these are the switches to turn the dryer on. This is a switch to turn the vacuum on, and etc. This is just a little station here. I have all extra shampoos that I use, and in here is also more shampoos. Just backups, like some conditioners, some pumps for my gallons that I get. This is for hair dye, like color in the dog's hair. Um, just extra, you know, peroxide if I need, anything like that. Just a bunch of extra bottles is really where I store it. And over here is where all of my grooming shears, blades, supplies, everything is on this side. So when you had come up in here and we went this way, so on this side is where all my stuff is kept. So this is also just a bunch of extra sprays. I have like dematting sprays, like just things to help shine coats. Um, I have perfumes and my toothbrush, my gels in here, ear cleaner, just a bunch of stuff like that. All my toothbrushes I use to brush the dog's teeth, extra cotton balls, just like all that little care stuff is in here so I can easily grab it. Dremels, um, yeah. So I have clipper, these are my two clippers that I use. This one just sits in here. Um, I have just extra snap-on combs. This is snap-on combs also. This wall I keep some clippers here. I have a couple scissors. I have all different size blades up on this rack. This is where I keep just a couple extra combs that I have. I have some nail clippers, a dematter, some ear powder, and just some oils. I oil all my blades and scissors with it. This is some quick stop if I do cut a dog's nail short, uh, too short. This is where I keep my quick stop so I can grab it quick. Um, here just a couple extra scissors that I have that I just keep up here. I have a bunch of them out being sharpened right now. So a couple of these holes that I have, these are the ones that are gone because they're with the sharpener. Um, but yeah. So on the lower half of this whole setup, I have my garbage can. So this pulls out and this is just garbage. And then over here, I have a couple of gallons of things. Like I have my ear cleaner gallon, some shampoo, um, just extra. I think that's ear cleaner also and that's more shampoo. I like to buy them in gallons. But yeah, so this is, I have a mat that I stand on. These mats just to help me. My legs are killing me sometimes all day. This is my table. And this makes it go down. And this up. So it's hydraulic, which is really nice. 
yeah and then this is where we had just come in from and then this whole compartment right here this is like a, a stand so this has a couple different storage compartments in it which i love so this is just all of my extra i have combs and matters and these are things that go on my ears when i'm drying dogs the second one is all of my bandanas. So I get, I buy all these bandanas in bulk and I cut them up for all the holidays. I have Easter cut up. So when I'm done with the dog, I come into here and I grab my bandana. I have scissors in here to make them smaller if I need. I have in here just extra wires and chargers for all the stuff that I use. All my cordless clippers, their, their chargers are in there. And down here, I have, these are scissors that had to be sent to the sharpener and just extra cases to hold everything. So in here, I don't really use much that's in here, but it's good um, to storage it for when I do need it. And then underneath, I have, it looks like a hot mess, but all of my extra cleaning supplies. So I wish I had like, kind of racks in here to slide things in because I just have these baskets and they're obviously overflowing. But I just keep all of my cleaning supplies. I have magic erasers, wipes. I have a bucket of like um, shower cleaner and all that in there. My garbage bags, everything's in there. This is where we had come in and then if you turn right, it is the front cab and that's the area that I drive in. So when I'm grooming, I close this over so no dog hair or anything gets in there, but you know, when I'm driving, I have it open. So this is the front of the van. So this is where I drive, and this is a passenger seat for any passengers. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't point out, I have a, this is an AC unit, and that's actually just like a fan to pull out the moisture when I, it's really like rainy and humid out. But yeah, so the, I have a furnace that heats the whole entire van, and I also have this AC unit, so in the summer, I use the AC unit. In the winter, obviously, I use a furnace, and the furnace is located in the back of the van. I'll go out there now, and I'll show you what the back of the van looks like, so let's go. Okay, so this is um, an extra water tank. All my water is in this big tank when I fill up at night. That is my furnace. That's what, pro that you know, that might get propane and that fills up for my heat. Um, this is just a space heater I have back here because in the winter I had to have it running at night so my pipes don't freeze. I have a shop vac. Um, just an extra wire if I have to plug in somebody's home, which I don't like to do, but if something happens with my generator, I have to do it. Just some extras. This is that hamper that's in the tub that I don't really use. Um, here's my water pumps. It's a sudzer and that's a, my water pump. And yeah, so this wood right there, that's actually my, the back of my tub. So this is just the tub wall on, in the back side. So that's my dryer, that's just the battery my panel with all my fuses. So this kind of is just like the control room for the for the uh, van. But yeah, that's it. Okay, everybody, I hope that you like this video. If you have any other questions, or if you want to see something more in depth, or if you want any details or whatever, let me know in the comments below. I would also love to get some more video recommendations. I know I've kind of been MIA, but I'm back. <laughs> I had a lot going on this past year, so it was hard for me to film, but I'm back and I'm kind of excited to get some videos out. So if you want to see anything else, feel free to message me or comment and I will try my best to get what you want to see up. All right, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.